in your view, do these upscale, high-end shops pose a gentrification threat to the people who own businesses on Manchester Boulevard who have been here for forever? Did you say a gentrification threat? Uh, yeah, I did. Okay, okay, and you, and you are you're a college student, right? Yes, sir. All right. Well, okay. Well, first of all, the definition of gentrification is this. It's a situation where you have formerly depressed housing areas where people of middle income or upper middle income socioeconomic status come in and they occupy those mm -hmm. dwelling units and they upgrade them. And now the, the value of those dwelling units goes up so the people that formerly could live there can't afford to live mm -hmm. there. That's gentrification. Okay. And the only thing that's happening in Inwood, it has happened for the last two years, is that our upper middle class properties are changing hands because you have people for a variety of reasons that, well, wow, my property's worth much more than it was. I'm getting older. I'm going to downsize. Now's the time for me to sell my property, take my nest egg, go somewhere that's more suitable for the size of my family because my kids are grown. And so what's happening here is that we have turnover of properties, but they're not depressed properties. Mm -hmm. They're middle and upper middle class properties. And there has been some mix in the demographic that lives here, but, it is, but it's been done along social economic lines. Mm -hmm. So as far as businesses, the businesses will only benefit mm -hmm. when people that have more disposable income come into your city because they can buy more things. So the only impact on businesses when when um, you have a change in the mix of incomes in the city is that there's more disposable income to be spent here. Because I get that a lot, sure the, the <laughs> unspoken thing is that what they're saying is that, oh, non-black and Hispanics are going to move into an area as though that's some pejorative thing for a city. But it's, it's, it's no less a racist connotation than it was in the 60s when there were covenants that restricted whites from selling their properties to the blacks were they to move and then being upset when blacks moved into the area they could afford to move into the area. So here we don't put any qualifications on or stigma to whoever has the money to purchase a property that someone wants to sell it for. You see what I'm saying? Yes, sir. And gentrification is usually used as an unspoken pejorative and that's why I'm so careful in explaining it when someone asks me about it. Oh, agreed. And I appreciate that. All right. Um,